Today I'm gonna to be trying out some new makeup. I actually have a lot of new makeup to try out today. I haven't filmed one of these videos in quite a while. I will have all of these products linked down below in the description box. I have almost an entire face full of new makeup to try today. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with some lip balm. My lips are so dry and I have this Clinique Moisture Surge Lip Hydrate plump treatment this gives me like such nostalgic vibes I don't know what it is I don't know if it's the packaging the fact that it's Clinique but when I was a kid my mom like only wore Clinique makeup and I don't know it just like is very nostalgic to me for some reason this lip balm is so thick but also not sticky or tacky in any way when I rub my lips together I don't feel any texture on my lips. That's crazy. But my lips also don't stick together when they touch. Wow. The packaging is so cute. It has like a rounded tipped applicator. I don't know. I feel like I had lip balms like this when I was younger. <laughs> Off to a good start. Now we're going to do some skin prep. I have these drops from... I was about to say Drunk Elephant. First Aid Beauty. These are from First Aid Beauty. But I am getting Drunk Elephant and Dupe vibes. These are the Bronze and Glow Drops with Niacinamide. It says they're safe for sensitive skin. And when I saw these, I immediately thought of the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Drops. I actually don't have those anymore. But I used to have them like a long, long time ago. Before, like they were in a different packaging than they are now. But here's what the First Aid Beauty ones look like. They look basically the same from what I remember and what I've seen online very bronzy and glowy this is very nice and thin too so I'm gonna start by just applying this on my face as a base layer we're going for that might have been like way too much we're going for um, a very glowy look today so I'm just gonna rub this in with my fingers it rubs into my skin really well and I definitely have like some redness just from like touching my skin <laughs> um, but it definitely bronze up my face a bit I feel like it's not so you have to be careful to make sure you blend it out all the way I know this is something that you can wear like on its own or mix in with your moisturizer under makeup I would say I'd probably mix it in with my moisturizer if I wasn't gonna wear makeup um, but it looks fine on my skin as it is um, it definitely added a bit of hydration and like glowiness, but I just feel like it might blend into your skin a little nicer if you had like moisturizer to mix it in with. But so far, I'm happy with these. I don't know what the price point is on these, but I I know that it's going to be less than Drunk Elephant. But I think e.l.f. also just came out with something similar to this. Next up, we have primer, and I actually have this glowy primer from Laura Mercier. It's the Pure Canvas Primer Illuminating, and... I have two of these. I got this package first and then I got this package and it said that these were new primers, but I have had this primer in this packaging in the past. This is a brand new one, but I've had it in this packaging in the past and now it looks different. So I don't know if they reformulated or what, but I figured we would try like half and half and see if I notice a difference. So I'm gonna start off with the original packaging primer on this side. And then I'm gonna put the newer packaging primer on this side. Oh, it looks different. I don't know if you can see, but it definitely looks different. So this looks lighter and thinner. So I'm gonna rub in the older primer first. This is definitely how I remember the primer. The formula feels exactly the same to what I recall. So now we're gonna try this one. I'm gonna wipe my hands off just so I don't contaminate things. But yeah, this is definitely a lot thinner and it looks less glowy. Like it doesn't have as much like shimmer to it, I guess. It's still very hydrating, but it feels completely different. Side by side, in a mirror, they look exactly the same. Like I wouldn't really be able to tell a difference. Feel-wise, this feels a little bit more tacky, the original version. Um, and then this side feels a little bit, I don't know. It's like definitely drying down and it just has less of a tackiness to it. But 
They're both very glowy and hydrating. I feel like this side might even be a little bit more glowy. It's hard to say though. I feel like it won't make a difference underneath makeup, but we'll see. Now for foundation, I don't have a new foundation. So I'm gonna use this Revlon Illuminance Foundation. I have this in the shade 213. I've been outside a lot recently, so I don't know if the shade's gonna work for me, but we will see. I feel like this color is actually perfect for me right now. I placed an order during the Sephora VIB sale, but it doesn't get here until like next Wednesday. So I will have a haul video. It's gonna be my first Sephora haul in literally over a year and a half. It's not a huge haul or anything like that, but I did pick up a few things that I'm really excited about, but <laughs> I definitely won't be able to film that video <laughs> until next week, unfortunately. But it's something to look forward to. And then I want to do like a try on with the new products that I ordered. So here's what our base is looking like. Very glowy, very pretty. I'm liking the makeup so far. Now I have a lot of cream products to try. I am going to try out a new powder, but I have concealer, cream bronzer, cream blush, and cream highlighter. So this will be interesting. So next up we have this concealer from Laura Mercier. This is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Concealer. This is similar, I think it's the same line as the foundation that they came out with a little bit ago and it went viral. So I'm excited to try this. I have the shades 0N1, 1N1, and 1N0. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pick one. Let's go with this one. I'm gonna try out 1N1 and just see how this looks. But I'm just gonna use some of this around my face and see how we like it. I actually didn't get to try out the foundation, but I kind of want to now. <laughs> I haven't even tried out the concealer. I'm like, ooh, now I wanna try the foundation. So far, this is blending out really nicely. It's very thin, but it also has good coverage. Like, it's not cakey at all, but I'm seeing some really good coverage under my eyes. We're continuing on the good makeup trend. This is good, this is good. This is what we like to see. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my cream like cheek products. So I have these ones from Flower Beauty and then this one from Laura Mercier. We have a lot of products from Laura Mercier. Um, but I'm gonna go in with this Flower Beauty Ultra Light Liquid Blush, but it's in the shade Toasty. So I'm hoping I can use this as like a cream bronzer, but we'll see. It's similar to the like Charlotte Tilbury packaging so is that a bronzer Ooh, i don't know i think we'll try it yellow right hopefully that wasn't too much product we'll start with that and we'll blend it out and see kind of how this goes okay here we go okay it's pigmented oh no but it's blending out really sheer actually so maybe it's not as pigmented as I thought. That's kind of nice though, because it makes it a little bit more user friendly. It's really pretty. It's very warm. It's a little bit warmer than what I would typically use for a bronzer, I think, but it definitely still works as a bronzer. So I'm gonna fully commit to this. Okay, so we're looking very warm. It looks good though. Like in person, it looks really good. I'm not sure how it's looking on camera, but I am happy with how this is looking so far. I don't know if this has just like a cream finish. I think it does. I don't really see any shimmer in there. So again, this is the Ultra Light Liquid Blush in the shade Toasty. So I'm liking that so far. It's really smooth, it blended out really nicely. There's no like patchiness to it. So I also have the blush in the shade Poppy, which looks like a very poppy color. <laughs> so we're gonna go in with this one now and try this out. Ooh, that looks very bright. Look at that, oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> That's a little scary. <laughs> okay, let's blend this out and see how it looks. Okay, it's really pigmented, but again, it's blending out so well. It's very like sun, like sun kissed on my skin. <laughs> I actually love this color though. I didn't think I was gonna like this color that much. Just because I don't normally wear colors like this, like 
super hot corally shades but this is actually really pretty and you could i'm like definitely blending this out to make it look a little bit more natural but this is definitely a buildable formula okay let me check on my under eyes they actually still look really good they're not even creasing yet which is nice i haven't set my face yet so i'm gonna go ahead and do highlighter now so this one's the laura mercier liquid highlighter in the shade gold glow <laughs> this is like the same <laughs> type of thing so everyone's like trying to do the whole charlotte tilbury thing i also think elf came out no i know elf came out with these a while ago at this point but um everyone is going after this style product which i actually have been loving the charlotte tilbury one so Anytime someone comes out with one of these, I get really excited. I need to try the e.l.f. ones too. I want to try so many new e.l.f. products. Like there are a ton that look so good. I want to try the one that's similar to the Charlotte Tilbury, like Hollywood Flawless Filter. I want to try the e.l.f. Charlotte Tilbury dupe of this. Um, same with the Drunk Elephant Drops. <laughs> There's like so much. I even think they have like... There's something else, maybe it's like a lip oil or something. Okay, so this highlighter is really pretty. You can see the glow, but the other products that I have on my skin are also very glowy. This actually isn't as intense as I kind of thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna add a little bit more just to kind of build it up. But really there's not, like the glowiness is there, but pigment wise, I'm not seeing too much which is okay, it's very natural. It definitely reminds me of the Charlotte Silvery one. I have the one in Pillow Talk that's like a highlighter and that's what this kind of reminds me of. I feel like the Charlotte Silvery one might have a little bit more of like a pigmented base to it, but very similar effect. Okay, so now I have this powder also from Laura Mercier. <laughs> this is the new translucent pressed setting powder. So their translucent loose setting powder is obviously iconic, but this is their new pressed version. And um, I love the glow that we've got going on right now. So I don't want to use a ton of powder, but I did really want to try this out. So here is what it looks like. The packaging is really cute. It looks like it is, oh, I was gonna say, I think it might be refillable, but it's actually, there's like a little puff underneath. This packaging also is very nostalgic to me because it reminds me of like powder foundation that my mom used to use. <laughs> um, so I think I'll just go ahead and try, I'll try this little combo. I'm just gonna use a little bit of powder. Let me double check my under eyes. They are still creaseless. That is unheard of for me, for concealer sitting on my under eye this long. Let me just do a close up of my skin. Like, it looks so good. It's so smooth. It's definitely glowy. So if you have oily skin, this would be too much. Um, but I've had more of like a normal skin type recently. So I love the way that this looks. Definitely would transfer if you touched your face though, so something to keep in mind all right so there's the difference you can definitely see like the blurring effect and like the mattifying effect from the powder under this eye compared to this eye i think they both look nice but i do think that a little bit of powder is beneficial for me in this situation just so i don't go completely overboard with the shine and it still looks so natural and pretty Wow, that looks awesome. I'm tempted to kind of tap a little bit on my forehead too, because we are kind of on the verge of like shiny, like a little too shiny. So I'm just gonna kind of mattify my T-zone a little bit, but that is looking really good. I'm, I'm like acting like I'm surprised, but I don't know. I just feel like usually by now something would have not worked, but so far we are like, we haven't missed yet for products. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I don't have new brow products. So I'm just gonna use these ones. 
Now we're gonna move on to eyes. So for eyeshadow, I have this Going Coconuts palette, which I know this isn't a new palette, but this one is new. <laughs> so it definitely qualifies for this video. <laughs> I used to have this, but I actually got rid of it a while ago, and I it was just like super old at that point. So now I have a nice, fresh, new one, but I also have this eyeliner from Flower Beauty that I want to try. I'm not a big eyeliner girl, so I thought it would be fun to kind of switch it up. And then I also have this from Hard Candy. This is sort of like a like an eye crayon type thing. It gives me Laura Mercier eye caviar vibes. <laughs> and this kind of actually reminds me of like something Charlotte Tilbury would have, like at this dual-ended um eyeliner this side is really pretty it's kind of like a bronzy shade so i thought we could play with these new eye products my camera battery is going to die so i'm gonna go switch that and then i will be right back i was just sitting here looking at my makeup and i think that this is the best that my makeup has looked in a really long time like i <laughs> <laughs> not to like I don't know I just like I can't stop looking at my skin I feel like it looks so good wow I am very happy so far okay so I'm just gonna do something kind of fun with this eyeshadow palette and like the products that I have something simple I'm just gonna take a matte brown and we're gonna put this in the crease just to kind of start with and then I'll probably go into that like eyeshadow stick from Hard Candy just to kind of see how that's looking and then maybe we'll put a shimmer on top I don't know but <laughs> we're just going for it I'm also gonna put that shade it's called lovely bunch lovely bunch lovely bunch yes <laughs> and I'm gonna put that in my outer corner as well okay now I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow stick it's called the eye def oh it's an eyeshadow marker shimmer in the shade bubbly and it's this really pretty bright wow that's bright like champagne color maybe that's better for like the inner corner yeah i'm gonna use that on the inner corner instead of my lid that is so pretty i'm gonna kind of bring it down a little bit sorry the back of this mirror is <laughs> so dirty <laughs> let me use a different mirror yeah this is gorgeous and it is really easy to apply to this area as well that is stunning again that's in the shade bubbly now i'll go in with the shade coco crush which is that center shade and i'm gonna put this on my lid oh yeah wow that's actually brighter than i thought it was gonna be but it is stunning i have a tiny bit of fallout but actually just gonna kind of brush right away because i set my under eye so <laughs> we're good there but look at how beautiful that shimmer is now i'm gonna take this flower beauty cream and chrome eyeliner duo and i'm gonna use the chrome side which is sort of like this bronzy color it's really pretty it's right there and i think i'm gonna put this on my lower lash line it is just like a wooden pencil so it's not as creamy, I feel like, as like a retractable liner would be, but I'm not having any problem getting pigment onto my lower lash line here. Wow, that is so pretty. I didn't go in my waterline, I went just like below my lash line. So here you can see this side has eyeliner, this side does not, but that is gorgeous. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch up my lip products. Um, my lips feel so hydrated now and the product hasn't gone anywhere. You know how sometimes you apply a lip balm and then like in 10 minutes it feels like it's gone? This is still completely in place and my lips look really nice. Like they look very hydrated and glowy. I would totally wear this on its own. I wish it was scented, um, but it's actually fragrance free. I wish it had like a yummy scent just cause I like that kind of thing. But I guess it's more universal if it is fragrance free. So I'm just gonna wipe that off. And then I have some ColourPop lippies. I have a lip liner in the shade BFF. This is like the best ColourPop lip liner. Ooh, 
the packaging looks different now than the last time I had it. And then I have the Lux Lip Oil in the shade Skinny Dip. And these were sent, I think it was like a ColourPop Favorites package type thing. So I think these are very popular products. I definitely know I love this lip liner color. So, and I haven't ever tried their Lux Lip Oil. I don't think, maybe I have actually. If this is the formula that came in Rob Beauty Christie's like collection, then I have tried it, but it's been a while either way. So I just put a little bit of that lip liner like all over my lips. And now I'm gonna go into the Lux Lip Oil and see how this looks. Mmm, very smooth. This definitely has a fragrance. It's very light and it's, like fine it's not like my favorite lip scent ever but it's pretty i'm gonna zoom you out you're a little whoa wrong way you're a little close now <laughs> um the lip color is more of like a brownie nude like a little bit more of like a yeah like a brownie nude than i would typically go for usually i like something a little bit more pink, but I actually don't mind it. So now I'm just gonna put um, some setting spray on. I have this Pixie one. This is the Makeup Fixing Mist. I've never tried this before, so we're gonna open her up. I love Pixie's mists though. I have like the dreamy one in my bathroom. I love their Milky Mist. They have a lot of really good mists, so. I'm gonna try this one, this is just their makeup fixing mist. I use their other ones as makeup mists, so good to know they have one that's actually meant for it. This definitely has a scent, rose water and green tea. Yeah, it smells like roses, so if you're not a fan of that, you will not like the scent of this, but it, I'm not a huge fan of rose like scented things, but this doesn't really bother me. It's not too strong. And then for mascara, I'm gonna try out this Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. I have never tried this before. I haven't even looked at the wand yet. Oh, interesting. Here is what the wand looks like. It's kind of like an oval shape. So I'm gonna do my mascara off camera and then I will be back with the finished look. So here is the finished look. I think this makeup look turned out so, so good. I am loving this makeup look. There's some things that I like more than others, but for the most part, like, this was such a successful full face of first impressions. So just a quick rundown. Obviously, this is a first impressions, um, so I haven't had time to, like, wear this, but I've had it on for the amount of time that it's taken me to do my makeup, which has actually been, like, I don't know, a good 45 minutes to an hour that I've been filming this video, and it is still looking so good. So, Again, just a quick rundown. Love this so far. I can't wait to continue to try this out in different ways by like mixing it in with my moisturizer. Um, the primers, I don't see any difference on either side of my makeup. The consistencies of these is definitely different though, even though they're called the Pure Canvas Primer Illuminating. So I'm guessing this is the newer formula, but I recently got this one too, so I don't know when the reformulation happened, but either way, the Pure Canvas Illuminating Primer is a great primer, and I loved when I loved it when I had it like months and months and months ago, um, and I still love this. It's so, so good. If you love a glowy look, I highly recommend that primer. The foundation, I'm loving this foundation more and more. This, again, isn't necessarily something new. I've used it probably like five or six times now. Um, maybe even more than that, but it's the Revlon Illuminance, Illuminance Foundation. I really like this a lot. The concealer is one of my favorite things from this video. I love the way that this looks on my under eyes. I feel like concealer is just very like mid for me. Like I like concealers and I don't like concealers, but it's, I don't feel like passionately about concealers. But this one, I feel like is so good. So I'm excited to continue to wear this and try this out, but this is definitely a hit from this video. Honestly, same with the pressed powder. I love that this mattified my under eyes, but it didn't like look too powdery. Like it definitely mattified, it definitely set my under eye area and my like T-zone, the center of my face, um, but it didn't look powdery if that makes sense it just kind of toned down the shine and it's still definitely mattified compared to the rest of my face so i think this is another really good product this again i love this lip balm i wish it smelled like watermelon or like cotton candy or something but i'm okay at least it doesn't smell bad but this 
formula is incredible. This is like an unexpected love. The setting spray seems nice so far, nothing like crazy. This is definitely something I'll continue to try out and update you on. The Flower Beauty products though, sorry if you can hear Luna in the other room. <laughs> She's with Jarvis. <laughs> She's a little talkative today. Um, these were an unexpected love as well. I, I didn't think these were gonna be bad, but I didn't expect to love them as much as I do. These two cheek products amazing the concealers in these are like mind-blowingly good so toasty i used as a bronzer and poppy i used as a blush and i love these the highlighter i like i feel like i don't I, I like it and I will definitely use it, don't get me wrong, but I feel like there's other liquid highlighters that are probably just as good as this. I love the packaging and like style of products. I loved all three of these, but these two in particular, the Flower Beauty ones, 10 out of 10. The lip combo I really like. Again, it's a little bit more brown than I would typically go for, but I think that these products are great and my lip my lip combo looks really nice and shiny. I loved the eyeliner. I loved using like the bronzy color on my lower lash line. I feel like that was just like a fun little touch. Like it's subtle, but it's nice. And I never use eyeliner, so it's fun to switch it up. This is also beautiful on the inner corner. I loved using that just to kind of like marker <laughs> right on my inner corner. It was super easy to use. It's a nice like highlighted pop, so pretty. And then the mascara, well, obviously this, we know I love ColourPop eyeshadows and I've had this before, but that was also a great product. Now, this is the only one that I feel like, like it's nice, but it's not like a, a, a raging review over it. Same with this. I feel like this, I just need more time to try it out, but the mascara is nice. It's definitely a lengthening and separating mascara. So my lashes look really nice. I love it on the lower lash line. I think it looks so nice because a lot of times my lower lashes will kind of clump together and just look mm, a little like chunky almost in like not a good way. On the top, it looks nice. It's very natural. I just prefer something a little bit more like voluminous for mascara, but I'm perfectly happy with this and I will definitely continue to use it. This was like shockingly lengthening and separating. It's called the Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. I feel like that's the perfect name for it. Um, so this is something that I definitely like and I will absolutely continue to use. Um, but I don't like it as much as my Benefit Roller Lash. That's like my holy grail <laughs> mascara. So this is also really nice the packaging is really heavy too it feels luxurious so that was my full face of first impressions it was so much fun to try out new makeup i am so happy <laughs> i'm so happy with how this turned out so um let me know your thoughts on the makeup the products and if there's any products you would like to see me try um i will definitely start to work some of these into my everyday makeup drawer i'm just really excited i am loving makeup again guys i always loved it but i'm like extra loving it again so it feels good to film some makeup videos so anyway thank you so much for watching everything will be linked down below um i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye